Howdy, howdy, it's Mike again. On the table behind me, I've got an LG OLED 55 C7P. I'm gonna show you how to remove the back as well as the boards out of this unit. Be sure to give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 to place any orders, and let's get into it. All right, folks, once you have your television flipped on its backside here, uh, you'll notice that you've just got a handful of screws just going around the edges here, one right here. And on this side, this is normally where your power plug will connect. Uh, there's a screw, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's gonna be this piece here. There's a screw right down the middle. You're just gonna remove that and then take a flathead to pop this up. The reason we didn't show you all of this is because we removed this television from our teardown department and the cord's already been clipped off of this. But once you essentially get this popped up, <clears throat> you'll have access to your power cable right here. There are two clips on the side you're gonna pinch in and you don't have a whole lot of room to work with. You're just gonna kind of walk it out. If you need, you can do one side at a time. Press and use a flathead and just kind of shimmy that side out. Press on the other side and shimmy that side out. Once you have this out of the way, we can get to removing the screws and getting this back off. Once you have your screws removed, just find a good place to get up underneath of this thing here. And it is going to be clipped into the chassis here, so it is gonna give you some resistance. Just gently keep lifting, keep lifting, and there we go. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the main board here. We wanna lift up on these flaps for these ribbon cables. Just pop them up with your fingernail, and these should just shimmy right on out. Be gentle with them. They might fight you a little bit, but we'll get those out. Same with this guy here. Just slowly shimmy that out of place. This guy here, we're gonna pinch on the sides and pull it straight up out of the back of that. Now we've got these two here. If you notice, there's a speaker right here in the way. Uh, to get this out of the way, it'll give you a little bit more grip with some of these. This cable here, if you follow it through, we've got a connection right here. We can just remove directly from this speaker and then lift up to get it out of this little hook that's right here. There's another hook here and one more here on the end. We just get this cable up and out of the way. And then you can see we've got some tape adhesive here. Just lift up and move this out of the way. Simple as that. This guy here, pinch it, pull it out. This one right here, we're gonna pinch on the sides and then pull it out towards us. Pop it back in in case you run into that same issue that I had right there. There we go. And now we've just got some screws around the outside of it. As always, be gentle lifting up in case there's adhesive. Does not feel like there is. And that is our main board. All right, moving on to the T-Con. Uh, if you take a look at this metal plate, we're gonna need to get this removed and more than likely the T-Con's gonna come up with this guy. If you see this little indentation here, not always, but most times that means that you've got a strip of adhesive or a little square of it right there holding this to the board itself. So first thing we wanna do is get all these cables removed and then we can remove the screws. Uh, this guy here on the side, we're just gonna pinch straight down with your fingernail to release that latch and pull it straight out. Same thing with the guy next to him, pinch it, pull it. These right here are our ribbon cable connectors. Flip up all those flaps with your fingernail and those should shimmy right on out of there. No problem, no issues. Just be gentle with them. You don't wanna force them out. There we go. And we've got two LVDSs on the side. Pinch it on the sides, pull it out. These are the ones that typically give you grief, but we're having some luck today, folks. There we go, hot stuff. Now that we've got everything disconnected from it, moment of truth, it looks like it is connected to the board itself. But if you take a look here, we should be able, just by applying a little bit of pressure, we can take this and lift that directly off of there. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but here are our pieces of adhesive that were sticking to that board. Last stop on the old dusty trail here is gonna be the power supply. We've got one, two clips here and then some screws around the outside. On this guy here, both of them really, we're gonna pinch it, pull it straight up, pinch it on the sides to loosen up that. And just kinda work your way on up. Let's see here. There we go. Giving me some grief, bucking around and hollering. 
If that doesn't work, just pop it back into place and then pinch it on both sides. And there we go, she's free. And now we just got the screws. I believe that is it. She's finished up, folks. So there we are, uh, pretty simple stuff today. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe to the channel, your first order will qualify for 20% off. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.